Hello. And welcome to Gold Rush RP 3.0. Today we're going to be checking out the newly released Gold Rush RP 3.0, of course, on their Red Dead Redemption 2 server. It actually got released on the 19th of last month, but I figured I'd give it a little time for everything to kind of get ironed out, cleaned up, and all the bugs to kind of be gone before we figured I would take a look at it. But today, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hop in game we're gonna make our character we're gonna go around for probably an hour or two check out a bunch of different stuff and then kind of give you guys a general overview of the server and some of the new features and some of the new stuff that has been brought with the 3.0 update and trust me there's a lot uh if you guys want to check out the full list of all the change logs and everything you can either of course join their discord or if you're joining in game there is now like a nice little convenient thing on the left hand side before you actually start playing they'll give you a lot of the change logs that happened recently which is a really nice feature i'm really glad they put it here um now also the rules are on the main menu as well so just very very clean very nice to have this stuff in here um but without further ado let's get right into it so first of all let's hit play and again this is based in 19 or 1897 so this is kind of a prequel to zaveel so this is going to kind of be um zaveel as he was 18 so quite a little bit in the past for him but i believe we're going to be creating him today so we're going to do good old zaveel zamaro uh he's going to be 18 since this was again in, in 1897 and we're just going to do like 180 um and or 170 i don't know what like a normal height is but yeah 180 why not and then mail and create character all right so the usual character creation menu i'm probably just gonna go through and do this all off camera um as this is not exactly the most entertaining thing to watch so let me just quickly spend the next 20 minutes 30 minutes making zaveel an earlier younger version of zaveel and i'll see you guys very shortly Alrighty, it's been quite a while. Um, now I tried to do it the best I could. There were a couple things I noticed that were missing from the character creation. Maybe there, maybe like after this category that we're in, that we're able to do it. But I noticed there was no way to put on scarring, and Zaveel obviously has a scar on his face, so that's not there. Um, I also noticed there was no option for eyebrows, which hopefully there's somewhere. But I looked through these options. There's eyebrow height, eyebrow height um but i couldn't find any like actual eyebrows we're gonna put on eyebrows so for now we don't have eyebrows um but that's fine wait maybe eyebrow depth no eyebrow height eyelid width again i looked through all of these for a while eyebrow width nothing eyebrow depth nothing um so i don't know actually how to put on eyebrows so hopefully we get them after we hit save but here we go so we just select our spawn locations we can spawn in ciudad Paraiso armadillo uh Bacha station thieves landing wallace station or emerald station um i think we're probably gonna start off where's i mean armadillo is gonna have all the basic stuff we want to check out they're gonna have the gun store they're gonna have the general store they're gonna have the clothing store etc um so we might want to spawn there although if we spawn at wallace Day, uh let's do armadillo um there might be a lot of people there which might be the only issue but i think we should be fine so spawn into armadillo looks like we got a bunch of items to start off in the heart of the oh here we go a little intro the dust of adventure mingles with the echoes of history a new legend is born welcome to gold rush rp okay a little intro here step into the boots of a true frontier character. unfortunately our map's still loading Whether as this is going outlaw a cunning entrepreneur or an upstanding lawman the choices are yours to make. We'll let this nice intro play. Unfortunately, some of the stuff is not going to be loaded in, though, fully. Forge your path. Set out on a journey through a meticulously recreated Wild West environment, featuring all the rich details of Red Dead Redemption 2. Live your story. Immerse yourself in a world where your decisions shape your fate. Engage in dynamic role play with other players, building relationships, alliances, and rivalries that define your narrative. Claim your fortune. Hunt for that legendary kill amidst stunning landscapes. Pan for gold and sparkling streams and strike it rich by venturing into hidden mines. Form a gang. Team up with like-minded outlaws to plan heists, stagecoach robberies, and daring holdups that will be talked about for years to come. Law and disorder. Enforce the law as a sheriff or marshal, maintaining order in a world of chaos. 
uphold justice, track down criminals, and keep the town safe. Business Empire. Carve your own path to success by running a saloon, opening a general store, or even managing a ranch. The economy is yours to conquer. Epic Showdowns. Engage in thrilling gunfights, intense duels, and epic brawls, capturing the true essence of the Wild West's rugged individualism. Gold Rush RP is more than a game server. It's a community united by their love for storytelling, adventure, and the allure of the unknown. Your tale begins here. Gold Rush RP, where history, camaraderie, and limitless possibilities converge. There we go. Uh, wait, why don't we have hair? Wait, hold up. Why don't we have hair? Ah, uh, well, I put hair on. I don't know why we don't have it. So I guess the first order of business is to go to. Oh. Howdy, howdy. Hi, Rudy. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. How about you? Well, you know, I'm just chilling in there. Oh, fuck you. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, is there a barber shop right here? I think it's over here. No, all right. Let's have a little look around. So, uh, I don't see a barber shop. Oh, yeah, there was one right there. Okay, so Armadillo Saloon, Blackjack, Gunsmith, Barber Shop, Clothing Store, Bank, Blacksmith, Cooking Station, Wagon Barn, Warehouse, Train Tickets, and a Stagecoat Request location. That's new, and I haven't seen that. Uh, courthouse. Okay, so let's go up to the barber shop to start off. Uh, get ourselves some hair. I don't know why our hair just like decided to disappear from us, but that's fine Let's head over here to a barber shop should be right in here And use barber chair the server utilizes the third eye function by holding left alt as well So this is how you're gonna interact with most objects on the server So we're gonna go like this and go over to the barber chair use barber chair and here we go let's quickly get some hair and i see we do have eyebrows that is a positive all right there we go now this is a veal before he of course got his hair gray or silver as i like to say um this is Zaveal a little bit younger before his hair turns silver so we are changing it up a little bit so we should be able to oh defects wait a second this is where we can add the scar because Zaveal does have a scar on him so we are going to add that as well Let's see if we can find the right one. There it is. I believe it's that one. Um, if, yeah, this should be that one. And then we should be good. We'll hit save. Boom. Looks like you're able to do the barber for free. Perfect. And there we go. Now we take our hat off. And Zaveel has some nice luscious locks. There we go. Of course, Zaveel's not, uh, doesn't have the long hair just yet or the silver hair, but he is looking good. But, uh, we are going to go into the general store, see what's there. Um, we're just going to check out a bunch of the different options around, see what's going on. See what kind of items are in the different spots. So, first of all, starting off with the general store. Let's see how this works. So, third eye, open general store and they have a bunch of stuff okay um also we can see what we start off with we start off with a map a compass a pickaxe a wood axe a gold pan a water bucket some bread and some water it seems we have a weight limit as well so we can only carry up to 30 kilograms um so let's see how the buying system works um i don't see where our money is is there like a slash money slash cash all right, we got $250 on us. We probably want to put some of that away. But uh, before we do so, let's buy ourselves some. I don't know any of these that are going to be useful. Let's see a crafting mat. See what that's used for. So how do we buy it? We just drag it over. Okay, it's pretty simple. Pretty nice inventory system. Let's buy some chewing tobacco. Um, and why not get some... Oh, there's quite a bunch of stuff. Uh, we'll get some extra water, I guess. Can we just stack this on top? Yes, we can. And some extra bread. So now we got 20 of each. We should be good to go. Let's go over to the bank, um, deposit some of our cash, as well as check out the banking system on the Goldverse 3.0 server. Let's have ourselves a little look in here. 
and if we third eye this again and we hit access bank okay this is pretty nice little little ui here uh bank of armadillo money is built on trust trust your money with us we are pleased to inform you that despite being robbed almost daily your hard-earned money is safe and ready for you um so it seems like there is some uh city development so there is a tax that goes on every once in a while so any money in here does get taxed so let's put in let's say 200 bucks deposit and now if we check our bank account again there we go 200 bucks in there uh it seems like you can pay other fines from there um if you have a paycheck i'm guessing you can collect it obviously we don't have a paycheck i'm guessing if we did have fines we'd be able to see our fines here and same with our bills we'd be able to pay our bills here but of course we have no bills to pay so there we go that's the banking system uh next moving on let's just have a quick look over kind of the ui as well as just how everything works so if we take a look at i believe our middle mouse button if we click on that it brings this up and there's quite a couple things so first of all there is the emotes menu so it's just kind of one of these menus nothing too crazy we can go through check out the different emotes this way um is there any way to bind them it doesn't look like there's any way to bind them to any commands but you can do that through 5m oh there is a search for emote thing which is quite nice and there's walk animations of course you're going to change your walk speed okay that's cool a bunch of different walk styles and if we hit middle mouse again go to settings hud settings it seems we can customize our hud from here which is definitely nice as well um global status icon settings there's a oh wow you can customize your ui quite a bit so if you're a person who likes to change the ui to your specifications it seems like it's pretty easy to do so from here so uh that is definitely nice there is interactions so we can search person or there's a scenes menu uh we can create scenes add text and change scene settings from there citizen uh we can get our id or drug selling okay uh and then clothing i'm guessing we can just remove our clothing from here if we want to obviously hat like that or we can just type slash hat pretty pretty nice uh so that's gonna be about it for the middle mouse menu now let's check out the inventory i'm not sure which key there it is b um and let's see how this works so let's try using some of this bread and we'll just eat it okay we eat up the bread pretty simple pretty straightforward <clears throat> there we go now i do want to test out this crafting mat so let's move a little bit over here just so we're not in the middle of everyone and let's test out this if i hit uh there we go in our inventory use the crafting mat what does it say a map for crafting on the go let's use it opening crafting mat okay so we can craft a couple things a reinforced stick which costs two cloth and five sticks a handcrafted arrow shaft which is five sharp sticks a uh, sharp rock which is three small stones and then a sharp stick which is a stick and a sharp rock there's a couple of crafting things here i'm guessing maybe there is other stuff you can craft as you of course maybe go through and get more experience i'm not really sure how it works or maybe the crafting bench is just for like the super simple stuff that might be it now next i think what we're gonna do is go over to the stables see what the horse prices are looking like see how expensive it is for us to get a horse and what kind of horses they have available at the stables so i believe the stables is right on over here so let's head on over there and check it out all right so it should be right on over here oh there's a person over here um guessing maybe we talk to this person let's have a look stables open stable okay owned horses store horse tack and breeding so let's go to the store store is very clean menu um oh what are rare breeds oh my quite expensive ones uncle john endless lenny micah okay so a bunch of different kinds um morgan missouri fox trotter hungarian dutch warm blood uh, american painted horse gypsy cob i don't think we can afford any of these there's definitely going to be some nice cheap starter horses though uh all these are pretty dang expensive all in the like thousands it seems well these ones are nice a little bit cheaper um so far nothing too affordable i guess a mangy i guess a mangy there is that uh mustangs nakota shire okay is a mangy the only thing that you're able to start out with as a new player that's what it seems like there is of course yeah that's it okay so you have to start off with a mangy unless you want to make some money beforehand so we're gonna buy ourselves a mangy i think we're gonna have to go um of course get uh oh wait no we don't, maybe it will take it from our bank um we'll name this you know what we're gonna name this horse a very unique name of horse 
that's our horse's name is horse so we're gonna hit conform confirm not enough money okay so yeah let's go grab some money maybe think of a better name on the way and i'll come right back here all right so we grabbed some money let's quickly go back to this guy and go back on over to the mangies and we're gonna get one mangy and i think we're gonna name it go along with the lines of trashy we're gonna name this one mashy so let's we'll hit confirm and boom we have our horse now if we go to owned horses here we have mashy we have the health xp age and the stable they're in so let's call our horse stable boy is grabbing your horse and boom there we go we're on our horse now that's pretty nice let's check if there's anything else in this town that we would want to check out real quick let me have a look around there's nothing too crazy there is a pin board so i figured we might as well take a little look at that and see if there's anything posted on it and kind of how the pin board system works on the server so let's have a little look over here it's like someone has a dog so it looks like you can get dogs on the server that might just be a local dog not too sure but let's have a look at this pin board here uh g for pin board okay so just a regular pin board uh browns will blacksmith come on down to the mcfarland ranch for all your blacksmith needs we buy rocks one at security one that pay ten dollars per visit to the mine this seems to watch my wagon or horse okay uh temperature you're feeling hot so temperature does seem to be a thing on the server as well um i already can see from looking at our status indicators so they do also have uh the dirtiness and thing which is not exactly my favorite feature but over time it seems like you'll get dirty and of course that that will rise and hopefully eventually lead to some problems um so you will have to keep yourself clean it seems like which is not my favorite feature um i got kind of a little annoyed with it at some point but obviously not a horrible feature to have it allows for a little bit of money burn from soap and other products to get yourself clean etc so it's definitely worth it um other than that let's see what else we got around the map so we do have of course nuevo Pariso down here i believe over here uh, which is kind of like the mexico side of the server bunch of stuff um what we're primarily looking for is i guess some new things i do want to check out a gun store although this one seemed a little busy and i don't want to disturb anyone at the moment as they're probably doing their own thing so we'll let them do that we might head over to blackwater is there anything interesting there there is a tackle shop so we could check out that check out how the fishing does or how the fishing works um there's a bathhouse there's another bank there blackwater cart workshop okay don't know what that is we might have to check that out martin's fish delivery okay stagecoach request location blackwater stable seed shop barber shop ticket booth yeah let's go let's go to blackwater check out the fishing shop see if we can get ourselves some fishing stuff as well as check out what this cart workshop is because those are two things that i have not seen before so we're gonna make a little bit of a journey of course our horse is not the best so it will take us a little bit to get over there but uh, we're gonna make the journey all the way over to blackwater and check out what's going on over there i'll see you guys in just a little bit all righty coming into blackwater let's go check out the fishmonger see possibly what they have available and uh exactly how the fishing works on the server as well we're also going to check out that uh, wagon cart like creation thing i don't know exactly what that was i'm gonna check that out as well so let's head on over to the fishmonger and see what they have for sale I'm guessing it's this fella so let's talk to him open tackle shop so fishing oh my so it's quite expensive fishing rod is 37 bucks so i guess we're not fishing today um as i don't have that money on me i should have grabbed way more money from armadillo i think we have about 24 bucks yeah 24 bucks i thought that would have been enough apparently not apparently the fishing rod is 37 what happens if we try and buy it and we don't have the money it just won't let us yeah um it seems like there's bread bait a bunch of different kinds of bait they're all quite expensive as well like a dollar three dollars fifty so I'm guessing the fish have to sell for a decent amount. It seems the economy is um, a little bit more inflated, I guess, than other servers or than it was last year, because I don't believe that the fishing rods were that expensive, but um, it's quite expensive for the fishing rods. So I'm guessing you make a little bit of money from that. Now, what is the other thing I wanted to check out? The cart workshop. Let's go see what that is, because it sounds kind of interesting. No idea what it's about. So let's go have a little check, see what it is. Seems like it'd be right on over here maybe oh here it is um open workshop blackwater cart workshop you're not okay i guess this is a whitelisted job okay that makes sense so maybe you're able to create wagons now um like maybe all the wagons are player made that'd be kind of cool if it was that way um where you need to get like wood and like different materials for it that's my guess i don't know if that's it for sure but 
having a decent guess um the fish delivery let's check out what this fish delivery is as well maybe it's like a little delivery mission we can do let's have a little look or is this where we sell the fish uh so start delivery start shift and shift so let's start a shift welcome back we let's... have a few orders waiting to be fulfilled okay i like Would the voice like acting and getting started all right let's start a delivery here is the oh. address okay it's now we got a little hurry. backpack we have more deliveries that need to be delivered okay nice little voice acting there i do like that definitely is a little bit unique there um so where do we need to go it said it would give us a location and oh it's right there okay delivery location so let's go right out of town it seems like seems to be pretty close so let's go out of town it should be right on up there and let's see what we get for this delivery i do like the little backpack as well it's definitely a nice little added detail um but let's go check out what we get from delivering this it should hopefully be something decent although it seems like a pretty easy job let's go do it and see what we get all right so the delivery seems to be right here so let's pull up on our horse and see how we deliver this so i'm guessing we just go up here and g to knock okay cool little animation accept my sincere thanks for the meat there and we here's go a token of my appreciation for the purchase okay i'm liking the voice lines that makes something that's very unique not a lot of servers i don't think i've actually seen any servers that have like npc voice lines so it's definitely really cool to see uh, we got two dollars for that so nothing crazy but really only took a second or two um what else is there in black order that we want to check out if there is anything else um we could check out the seed shop see what they sell there real quick see if there's anything unique like uh what kind of different vegetables and fruits and such are able to grow on the server have a little look at the seed shop let's have a little look oh yeah it literally says farm supplies right there I think I found your horse. so let's have a little look see if we're able to buy stuff from this guy and seed shop okay so there's a bunch of different seeds there are wow tobacco carrot sugar cane corn seed cotton wheat broccoli lettuce potatoes onions tomatoes beans oregano chili peppers bell peppers watermelon garlic cucumber coffee pumpkin rye barley sunflower and rice then a water bucket and a shovel of course so damn there is a lot of different kinds of seeds you're able to plant on the server and i'm guessing a lot of those go into recipes for both restaurants as well as other businesses i'm guessing that they're going to need them for which is really cool definitely helps drive a player driven economy um but i think that's gonna be about it for blackwater is there any last things we wanted to check out uh, i did want to check out the gunsmith yes so let's go have a look at the gunsmith check out a little thing about how much the gun prices are at least get an idea and i think it should be good for blackwater let's go let's go check it out real fast all right here's the gun store let's go have a little look see what we can buy see what the prices are looking like i also forgot to put a gun belt on zavil i'm just now realizing so we might have to do it as well if we do end up purchasing a pistol but let's have a look so open gunsmith so we're able to buy quite a couple things um looks like only the most basic stuff as a starter um buying from the local obviously if you want to buy a higher class weapon you're gonna have to buy it from an actual gunsmith but there is quite a bit in here all the different types of ammo which is nice uh bow arrows lasso knife cattleman revolver varmint rifle binoculars it's all the basic stuff which is nice um we might actually just purchase ourselves a knife just so we have one and so we can test out how the weapon system works but overall quite nice of course it makes sense and you can only get like the basic weapons from there and i do like that i like being able to get the more advanced weapons and having to talk to people for them i think it definitely forces rp and definitely allows for some cool rp especially with gunsmiths and such checking them all out trying to find out the best prices from the different ones um but i think that's gonna be about it for now anything else that we want to check out real quick uh, i did want to check out the cooking station as well since it is another kind of crafting on the server and i figured it might be worth checking out since the other kind didn't have a ton of stuff to craft within this little uh what was it called crafting mat there wasn't a ton in there it seemed like to be just basic supplies well let's check out this little cooking crafting over here and see what that's like so do we third eye it i thought yep cooking station uh start cooking wow okay so there's a bunch of stuff you can cook right off the rip and it gives you the instructions or i guess it gives you the recipe for what's in it um first of all let's toast our bread why not so we have 19 bread so let's see what happens if we try and toast it store there, my friend sorry so what'd you buy in the store oh nothing i was just looking around oh looking around not posting the fucking signs sorry not posting any signs or nothing right no 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 just looking around 
Okay. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, so we might have to toast each one of these breads. Crap. Okay, so I made a little mistake. Um, This is going to take a while. Oh, my gosh. Is there a way to cancel this? Okay, there is a way to cancel this. Okay, because if we had to toast each individual bread, it's going to take a lot of time. Um, but now we have some nice toasted bread, so we can eat that up, which is quite nice. So the crafting menu for this is nice. There seems to be a lot of recipes. If we take another look at it real fast, we can start cooking. There is a ton of different stuff. Um, so some of these require like five ingredients, like this one. For instance, a boiled egg requires three. The coffee is just two. So you can actually craft a lot of different foods on your own if you go out and farm and hunt for it on your own, which is really cool. Um, I'm guessing there's some more in-depth recipes that are made by restaurants that probably fill you up a lot more. But this is definitely a cool little thing to be able to do if you do want to craft um, some different food on your own and not have to rely on restaurants. It is cool to be able to be able to do so pretty easily and, of course, have the recipes right there for you to actually check out. So, for instance, if I wanted to make this Irish coddle, I'd be like, okay, I need to go find myself some cooking spices, some potatoes, venison beef and an onion so i might grow the potatoes i might grow the onions I might talk around to find the cooking spices etc definitely definitely a really cool menu and really nice that you're able to do it from there but that's pretty much it again i just wanted to make this video kind of checking out the server not really going too in depth if you guys do want to see some more in-depth videos and us actually playing on the server a little more making this into a series again i do still plan on continuing the frontier and i do apologize for the lack of uploads late recently um i have honestly been just going through some stuff and i've been trying to get those videos out to you guys unfortunately not being able to do so which i do apologize for but i really do want to try and start posting videos frequently once again and hopefully start streaming again unfortunately i've been really trying to but my internet has just been horrible it took me about two hours to even be able to get on the server today um my internet's just been horrendous hopefully we're gonna get that solved at some point and get back into streaming because i really do want to start streaming pretty much daily if not by daily or something um, so look out for that. I am going to be hopefully making a video soon going over some big changes to the channel as I do kind of want to redo a lot of the stuff on the channel, possibly start playing some other games, possibly start doing some RP and some other stuff as well. Um, but either way, hopefully you guys are excited for the channel getting some changes soon. But I just wanted to make this video again today going over the 3.0 update uh, that did release again on the 19th of last month and uh, kind of just showing you guys some of the simple features, the general stores, the gun store the inventory the crafting systems etc etc giving you guys kind of an idea of the server and some of the new stuff on it um of course the voice acting stuff that was my favorite part of the whole server as i haven't seen on any other server so props to them the inventory seems super clean super easy to move stuff um no lag at all super easy if we equip the knife i'm guessing we're able to just quickly oh wait wait a second there's no tab menu okay so that's interesting so i'm not exactly sure how we choose which weapon we want not that um but maybe you just have to go he oh no i figured it out i figured it out i forgot i saw this earlier so last thing before we end the video is at the top you have one two three four and five and that is how you're going to actually equip stuff so if i want to equip the knife i just hit two put it away with two so it's a little bit of a different system than most servers but it's definitely clean and still works if we want to take out the axe well i guess we have to go over to a tree to use it um like so I guess you can only chop certain trees. That's fine. But uh, that is how you actually equip stuff. So, we you know, obviously you just hit the hotkey for it instead of holding the tab wheel. It's a little bit different than most servers, but definitely a cool little change. Something a little bit more unique. But uh, overall, the server feels really good. Um, no lag, no issues um, from what I saw, at least in my short time playing. And overall, it seems like a pretty cool server. Now, again, it is pretty cool. The server is set in 1897, so it is a little bit earlier than most servers. And of course, if you did play on Gold Russian 2.0, now you can kind of make the prequel to your character and figure out how your character got to where he is or make a storyline for it um so pretty cool opportunities there in my opinion now if you guys do want to get more information on the gold rush 3.0 server the link to their discord will be in the description as always and make sure to go check it out um there's a lot more info on there if you do want to see all the change logs and everything they did change and add for 3.0 i'm not going to be going through all of them in this video because that would take forever because they did change pretty much everything on the server but um, I think that's going to be about it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.